This video shows you how to use multiple duck schedules in an RHVAC project. The current project is a copy of the sample RHVAC 9.RH9 project that is installed with the program. Click the Duck Sizing tab. Each duck schedule can be used for either round or rectangular ducks. For round ducks, each entry represents a diameter value. For rectangular ducks, each entry represents a width value. Let's create a schedule that will be used for trunk ducks. Enter trunks for the name. We want to enter all new sizes, so click Clear Schedule Sizes to reset all sizes to zero. Enter the schedule sizes. We will only go up to a size of 30 inches in this example, which is fine because the duct airflows in this project are pretty small. Now let's create a new schedule that will be used for the runouts in this project. Name the new schedule Runouts. Enter the sizes for this schedule, stopping again at 30 inches since the project's airflows are small. Open the tabular manual D duct size window. This sample project already has a complete duct system entered. Click on a trunk in the tree. Change the sizing option property to schedule. Since this duct is a trunk, we of course want the schedule number property to be set to schedule 1, the one for trunks. In order to save time, we can change all the needed properties using the defaults window. First, let's set the sizing option to schedule for all ducks. Check the include box. Change the value to schedule. Click the mark button. Click trunks and runouts. Click Apply to Checked Items in each duct will have its sizing option property set to Schedule. Uncheck the sizing option property. Now let's set the schedule number property to 1 for each trunk. Click Mark, then Trunks. Click Apply again. Now let's change the schedule number property to 2 for each runout. Click Mark, then Runouts. Click Apply one more time. We can see that the sizing option and schedule number properties have been set to our values for each duct. Let's return to the General Project Data window and copy our two new project schedules to the Global Duck Schedules list. Go back to Schedule 1. Click Copy Schedule to copy this schedule to the clipboard. Now let's go to the Global Duck Schedules window and paste the Trunks schedule into a new schedule. The Global Duck Schedules window lets you maintain a list of schedules that you can use for any project. Click Add Schedule. Click Paste Schedule. Return to the General Project Data window to copy the other new schedule to the clipboard. Click Next Schedule to go to the new Runouts schedule. Click Copy Schedule. Return to the Global Duck Schedules window. Add another new schedule to the global list. Paste the Runouts schedule from the clipboard. Now let's open one of the sample projects that uses Drawing Board.
Now that we are in the drawing board project, let's add our two new schedules to the project. Bring the general project data window back to the front. Click the button to the left of the first schedule size input to select a schedule from the global list. Select the trunks schedule we created earlier. Add a second schedule to the project. Select the runouts schedule from the global list. In this project, the ducts were created on the drawing board window instead of the tabular manual deduct size window. Select one of the supply runouts and change its sizing method property to schedule and its schedule number to 2. Select the schedule option. Select Schedule 2 Runouts for the Schedule Number property. Instead of changing those properties for each duct one at a time, let's use the Set Multiple Duct Properties window. Click Set Multiple Duct Properties. First, let's set the sizing method property for each duct to Schedule. Click Mark All, click Trunks and Runouts. Check the Set checkbox for the sizing method property. Select Schedule. Click Apply to set that property for the selected ducts without closing the window. Now only select the trunks. Click Apply to set the schedule number to 1 for each trunk on the drawing. Now let's select only the runouts. We need schedule number 2 for the runouts. This time, we don't need to keep this window open after making this change, so click OK instead of Apply. We can see that the properties have been changed for each duct. Thanks for watching.